So what's really going on here? <laughs> Usually the A's will present something, see if people are favorable, see if they're not. In this case, I don't see how Sacramento fans could possibly be favorable. We're talking about a fan base that went through this exact same battle with the Maloofs and the Kings as they tried to rip their team out of the Sacramento market. Kings fans rose to the occasion. They fought back. They kept their team. They have a beautiful arena in downtown Sacramento. I've been there. It is spectacular. But you really think for even a second that these same Kings fans in Sacramento, these same people in Sacramento, many of whom are also A's fans, are going to grant amnesty to John Fisher's Oakland A's, help him out, throw him a bone, keep him going so he can kick the can down the road in Las Vegas before time runs out? I don't think so. This is gonna be an extremely unpopular idea for Sacramento residents. You're already seeing it all over social media. Many of the biggest players in Sacramento media already saying it makes no sense. Why? After everything the Kings went through, after everything Sacramento people went through, after everything many of them also A's fans went through, would they help make sure that John Fisher can keep the A's rather than force him to sell the team? Doesn't add up. I don't see it happening. Now, as far as the Oakland Coliseum is concerned, I have checked in on this. I keep checking in on it. I check in on it all the time. There have been absolutely no conversations between the A's and the city of Oakland, the JPA, about keeping the A's in the Oakland Coliseum past the 2024 season. Nothing's happened. Obviously, there's going to have to be major concessions if they do that. Nothing has happened yet. There's been no conversations. I've heard rumblings about a deadline that has been imposed, but I've also heard that is not the case. Nothing. Nothing. So keep an eye on that. But for now, the Sacramento situation, none of it adds up. There's really no smoke to it. There's really no substance to it. And I can't really see why they would do it if, as John Che detailed in the article, Sacramento is technically out of the market for the A's to keep their TV contract. Why would they then do that? They're going to be looking for options that will make it so they can keep every last bit of that TV revenue. They're not walking away from money. No chance. Not when they can't even finance their own ballpark in Las Vegas. That's another thing I've been hearing. You see it all the time on social media. Vital Vegas mentions it all the time. I'm also hearing they have no way to finance this ballpark at the moment. Not the way everything's going right now. And that's going to be a big problem. So, no renderings, no financing plan, no design architect, nothing. Nothing coming out of Vegas except a whole bunch of donations to politicians in Nevada in order to get that $380 million in public funds secured. So this thing, eerily silent, nothing happening, <laughs> at least nothing that anyone knows about, it's just a mess, and it'll continue to be so. But will this mess, will this crazy train <laughs> be making many stops along the way? Sacramento, Oracle Park, I've even heard San Jose is a possibility. <laughs> that would mean the Giants would have to help them out with their AAA affiliate, with their home park, potentially even their single-A affiliate in their territory in San Jose. It just doesn't make any sense.